Hey, Robert, Mike Kay from the Charlotte Observer. Congrats on the contract. Welcome to Charlotte. Just wanted to ask you, um, you know, it's been roughly a week since you signed. Uh, what has the past week been like for you and your family now getting this this contract and and, pretend, and moving to uh, Charlotte? How you doing, Mike? Uh, it's, it's been good, man. Uh, I just honestly been taking it slow. Um, you know, I was in Charlotte last week uh, taking care of business there. And, you know, I've just been hanging out a little bit with my family, my mainly my girlfriend, man, and just been taking it slow day by day. I know you have a background playing tackle and guard. I was curious, what did your your time at right tackle teach you about playing right guard? And how have you been able to kind of use both those spots to kind of make your game even better and, and kind of find chemistry with that right tackle position at guard? Um... I don't know, man. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's two different positions. I mean, it, it definitely correlates in some aspects, but uh, I don't know. I feel like it's two different positions, two different skill sets, I guess. But, um, you know, I was blessed enough to be able to do both, um, with both skill sets. And, you know, I think as guys, I've seen it, like as guys come from tackle to guard, you know, they usually can move a little better. Well, I don't say move a little better. That's a bad choice of words. I don't know. It just, I don't know. I guess take time. I don't know if it really correlates. I mean, you just got to, it takes time. It took me time to actually start actually understanding how to get the guard position. So, All right, let's go to Joe Person, followed by David Newton. Hey, Robert, uh, echoing Mike's thoughts about uh, congrats on uh, getting to Charlotte. Uh, I'm, I'm with The Athletic, by the way. Um, wonder just like th th when you heard or if you heard kind of early on from your agent that the Panthers were – interested in you know not just signing you but really uh identifying and making a commitment to the interior offensive line uh no i don't know if i really like heard anything from them the panthers um but you just talking to my agent man we're just taking it we we're taking it moment by moment and we we're just figuring out what would be the best situation for me and my family and uh you know the panthers definitely seem like the right choice for us and uh you know we're excited to to be there and, you know, get to work. What was your reaction? I guess it was later the same day or maybe the next day when you heard they were going to sign Damien as well. Uh, I was pretty excited, man. Cause I mean, they're, they're, um, me personally, I think a lot of games could be, um, dictated up front either side of the ball. Um, and that means that they were definitely, um, trying to, you know, take the game the right way, I guess. I don't know if that's a I mean, I don't know. This I, I was excited. I was excited to um hear Damien name or like see his name come across the ESPN and all that kind of stuff to play for the Panthers. I was excited. I kind of text him and you know tell him, let's go, man. Uh met him at the combine a couple of years back and he's 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 a fine dude. So I was excited to be able to play with him. Thank you. Hey Robert David Newton with ESPN.com. Good to have you here in Charlotte. Um I wanted to ask how many how many other suitors were out there for you and and what made Carolina the most attractive for you um with that competition? Um there was a couple, man. I won't get too like in detail about that because obviously now I'm a Carolina Panther, so that's the uh, that's the main thing. And um yeah, man, it was just you know, um I just kind of like the situation of what it was, you know, new coach coming in, I guess. Uh I, I like what's already on the roster and, you know, I mean, just say, I want to be a, some, a part of something that's, you know, that's, that's, that's trying to go in the right direction. And, uh, you know, I've been able to do that in my last couple of years and I'm excited to, you know, be here in Carolina to try to do it here. So just looking and, forward. And how much have you studied what happened last year um, with the pass rush against Bryce Young and to talk to Bryce and um, obviously they wanted to get you and, and Damian in there to, to shore up that middle because they had a lot of pressure coming inside. What what did you see when you look back on tape to, to make you feel like, hey, you guys can secure that up? Um, I, honestly, man, I haven't looked at any tape of um, that situation. Uh, that's that's kind of what I've learned in my four years now going into my fifth is every team is different. No matter how you slice it each year, every team is different. So um, this Panthers team is definitely a lot different from the one from last year. And I'm just excited to be there now to try to help do something a little different. So.
Well, I think Damien said one of his goals was to help make Bryce comfortable because um, right. he, he obviously wasn't very comfortable behind that line last year. So what have you, you know, blocking for a shorter quarterback, how's that work for you guys inside versus a taller? Does it really matter? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we have a job to do. Um, I was kind of brought here to, you know, play a physical game and also try to set the, the, the pocket for Bryce. And that's just what I'm going to try to do each day and every day. Um, I mean, it is what it, I, I I can't. I never I, would, I never look back at Bryce. No, I mean, I would never look back at Bryce. Um, you know, unfortunately, I mean, I hope I won't be anyway. But uh, my goal is try to stop people up front, man, and try to like set the line for him wherever that is to give him time for the football. Have you talked to him? I have not talked to Bryce yet. No. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Robert. I know it's just been a week, but uh, have you gotten to talk to Joe Gilbert or Harold Goodwin? And if so, what have you kind of taken away from those chats as far as you know their style of coaching? Um, I'm excited to yeah, I, I've talked to those guys. Um, I, like I said, I was in the building um, last week. Excited, excited to work with those guys, man. They've been in the game for a while. Um, they know what they look like, and uh, you know, um, I'm just excited to 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 take something from them and put it implemented in my game. And, uh, you know, this is my fifth year. I've had four different O-line coaches each year. This will be my fifth. This is my fifth group of O-line coaches. Um, but I'm excited to work with these guys, man, to see what they can help me bring out of me and, you know, me to see what I can even do, help bring to them or to the room. So I'm excited to work with those guys. That's a lot of transition, obviously. But is there something that you've taken away from, from all of those guys that's kind of like a central theme? I think so, man. I think I've definitely took – each each coach, like each coach taught different things that I, I enjoy. And I kind of took that and put it into my game of where I think it fits. And um, it's, it's, it's worked out for me, I believe. So I'm just going to keep trying to do that. And working with these guys, like I said, are, who are OGs on the game, I'm excited to work with them and take pieces, pieces from them. And hopefully, you know, it'll take my game to where I want it to be. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. All right, let's go to Darren Gant, followed by Joe Person. Uh, Robert, you got to see Derek Brown last year down in Miami. Uh, what's it going to be like? What do you remember about him? And what's it going to be like to see him across the line in practice each day? Uh, I'm excited to be teammates with, uh, with Derek. Derek's a heavy handed guy, athletic, um, physical as all get out. Um, he's been fun to play against. Uh, I've played against him multiple times in my career. Now he's been fun to play against, man. I know when I'm playing him, I got a bulk of my chin strap. And, uh, you know, you know, we just go at it, and uh, I'm excited to be his teammate. You know, uh, we'll work each other, man. We'll, we'll, we'll iron sharp as iron, man, and we'll get better each day. And I'm just excited to see what he does on Sundays. And you know, I, I'm sure you'll probably be the same, feel the same way about me. Hey, Derek. Or, sorry, hearing you talk about Derek. Sorry, Robert. No, it's all um, good. You had mentioned bringing, uh, being brought here in part to set uh, a physical tone. And we've heard that from some other guys. Did, did how often did you hear the phrase "dog" or "dog mentality" during from the Panthers? Uh, you know what i i was I was in my own lane, man. So I wasn't really like looking into any team really deep. You know, I, mean, I was still working there in Miami, doing what I was doing here. So the dog thing kind of came new to me. Um, you know, kind of when I signed or whatever. Uh, just kind of heard it more then, but uh, you know, I think I think it's a bunch of dogs in that locker room. So I'm excited to get in and fit in and play with them. Is there a uh, a play or kind of a, a sequence in your career that you would point to for kind of like the epitome of you being a dog? I don't know about a specific play, man, but I think I got a lot of I got a lot of plays out there that you can probably look up and just. I don't know, man. I think I played the game the right way. I think I've been playing the game the right way. And, uh, you know, that's just how I go about it. You know, I, I want I, I like to think I'm a dog, but I think I just played the game the right way. Thank you. All right, let's go back to David Newton. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, too, you've gone from one Alabama quarterback to another now. Any similarities you see in, in Tuba and Bryce? Um. I think each 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 guy be his own self or his own quarterback. Um, you know, Tua did great things um, in Miami and in Alabama. Bryce did great things in Alabama. And his last year, he did some really good things. Um, you know, I think each guy is going to be different because they're different people. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know much about Bryce right now at this moment. It's very early. We haven't even got you know started working yet. But 
once I get to lock my eyes on Bryce, see what he actually can do and, you know, work for him, I'll understand his situation better. But, you know, I won't really put those two guys together. How much so? Because, I mean, two is six one. I think, and Bryce is like 5'10". So neither one of them are really tall. So how much was the game plan in Miami to to make sure that inside pressure stayed off of Tua to allow him to to be Tua? Uh, I would say the game plan, man. Just like kind of how we how we did it, man. I, I, you know, my, my, my first couple of years there, we just tried to, you know, just keep the, – the, the goal is to keep people off of the quarterback, right? Like, so give them time to throw the football. Um, so – this is what we did, man. I don't know if it's a game plan. Um, you know, Tua like a spot where he, he got comfortable at last year and he um he thrived at that spot. And, you know, that's just how it goes. If he likes if if a quarterback likes a spot and he say that and vocalize that, that's the spot that we gotta protect, you know, and that's just how it goes, I guess. And uh did you imagine, could have imagined when you went into free agency a hundred million dollars? Uh I was just kind of taking it day by day, man. I was taking it, you know, I, I wouldn't say I didn't imagine it. I think I'm a hell of a player. Um but you know, I would, I, I wouldn't think, I wouldn't say I was really thinking about it. You know, I was just going through the motion, not even the motion, man. Like I literally live my day, day by day, moment by moment, second by second. So I wasn't trying to get too far caught up in it because it kind of, I feel like it causes more anxiety that way. So uh, I kind of just stay back, man. That's just who I am. Just take each day as its own and live that day. And then once the day came, it was a great day. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back to Joe. Yeah, Robert, just piggybacking on that, did you have anything that you're going to splurge on or do anything for family members, so to speak? I've been waiting on this uh, conversation. So I need all you got to get your pens out. And if you know somebody in Charlotte, tell them I want a cyber Tesla truck. That's I've, I've been wanting this thing for multiple years. I told myself once I got the deal, um, no matter where I'm at in life, that would be my, my, my treat to myself. Um, it's really hard to get these things, but if you guys know anybody, Put it out there in the open for the people in Charlotte. Rob Hunt need a cyber truck, Tesla cyber truck. What makes those so rare? And like, how much research have you done on these? Uh, I haven't done much research on it, but I have pre-ordered it three times, which they keep going up each time. So Elon Musk is a genius, of course. But um, <laughs> I haven't done much research, man. But I love the way the truck look. I think it's really cool. Um, it just it just caught my eye the day I like heard it was coming out multiple years ago, and I just told myself, you know, I don't need much. I'm you know, I'm very fortunate to be where I am today, no matter like if the contract didn't happen a week ago, whatever it was, very fortunate, like knowing my background. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity. But my only treat would be is the the Tesla truck. What color you want? Uh, I think it only comes in silver right now, unless you can you can kind of get matte black and all that kind of stuff, I guess, if you like soup it up. But I'll just start off with the silver and then I'll fix it up how I want to fix it up after that. Okay. You can paint any color you want for a hundred million. <laughs> 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 any more for robert all right thanks rob all right thank you guys